Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. This one went to the store for me and he picked up these biscuits now. Um, so, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use what he bought. And I'm going to take these biscuits. I'm making a chicken pot pie. I have these different size containers here. And I'm going to start with one of my smallest first. No big deal. I'm just going to uh, stretch it. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it as it go around. And then I'm going to fill it with some of my chicken and dumpling that I made yesterday. Now you can also uh, stir fry your vegetables. Just stir fry some vegetables. Um, make a roux. That's what they call a roux is that you take some broth, mix it with some flour in a cup, and when you pour, you pour that over your mixed vegetables, and that will thicken your sauce. It um, stick. I have a thick juice for your vegetables, so you can uh, have a juicy pie filling. Any, any vegetables you want. You can have carrots, mushrooms, whatever. You can have a vegetable pot pie and or you can uh, take some chicken and, and stir fry some chicken in there or some leftover chicken. Tear it up and, and uh, mix all that stuff together and then you make a chicken pot pie. A chicken pot pie to me is um, something that started out as people using their leftovers and making a pie out of them. And then that's a, that's a different way of eating the same meal. But as you can see, all I'm doing is taking that biscuit, that large biscuit, one biscuit, and putting it all around my pan. I'm not going to pre-cook this. I'm just going to uh, fill it. Some people will put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes, about 5 minutes. And let it cook. But by this being a biscuit, biscuit, it may rise. And to stop it from rising, you put some aluminum foil in it, pour some rice or some beans on it to hold it down, and then you put it in the oven and let it let it cook. But I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do to that is get my spoon. And let me see, can you see me over here? And and there's my chicken and dumpling I made yesterday. I'm gonna stir it up. and add some to the mix. I may even stir fried fruit vegetables and put it in there because I think it can use a little bit more vegetables. What y'all think? I think it can. So, let me stir fry a little vegetables, okay? I am stir frying some vegetables. That are, that's my vegetables. I got some sweet peas, carrots, uh, corn, and some uh, <clears throat> some mushrooms, you know, some mushrooms, and just some vegetables. You can throw an onion in there if you like, and I'm just going to stir fry this. And as I was saying, if you want to make a thick broth out of this, a little flour, a little water, Season to taste, mix it together, put it in your pot pie. But I'm going to use that uh, dumpling uh, stuff there that I, I made yesterday, and uh, that's going to be my thickening agent. And then I'll show you my results when I get through. I may just go and take the dumpling and heat it up in there. So, back in a few. What I wanted to do was a cook twice me, uh, meal. I wanted to show you how you can use a meal that you cooked the day before and make a whole new meal out of it. And all I'm going to do is put a little vegetables with that. Just a little vegetables. Put a couple of mushrooms. A couple of mushrooms in there. And let me look in the camera and see if if it's uh, zoomed in where I want it to be zoomed in on the pot pie itself. 
Now, I'm going to take a spoon and mix that together. Because I thought um, that chicken and dumpling deal needed a little bit more vegetables in it. And if y'all want to know how we did the chicken and dumpling, I did a video just yesterday on it. And I'm... I got another biscuit I, that I have flattened out. Putting it on here. Mashing it together. Around the edges. And hopefully, we will have ourselves a decent pot pie. Let me let me seal it with the fork around there. You know how sometimes you do, y'all. Try to get the fork to hold it down. And when I come back, this should be a done pot pie with leftovers. And if you feel like your leftovers don't have enough in it, this is not breaking the center of that. When you feel like your pot pie does not have enough in it, just um, throw some vegetables on the side, whatever you have, mix it, mix it together and add it to your leftovers. And I'm going to cook this. It's a biscuit, so I'm not going to whitewash it with um, egg and all of that kind of stuff because it should bake golden brown, right? Well, we're going to test this theory out and see. Well, that one, the first one is made, so I'm just going to go ahead on and flatten this, make it easier on myself with uh, using my favorite little right uh, container here, what cup. And put it over here. That helped me stretch it out. It could probably go some more. I'm making this for myself, y'all. This is going to be my lunch. I'm going to make a larger one, probably for Willie. have an extra one sitting in there in case we want to do something with the extra one. You know, you always make a little more than enough in case you have company or in case someone has not uh, gotten enough to eat. Can you see that? Okay. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you're checking my, checking my deal out. I'm adding some, I'm adding this to that. I'm getting the melting pot, the dumpling. So you can see a hot dumpling because I, I did it cold before and I don't know if you got the full effect of it, what it would look like, you know. So. But the other one, as it heat up, it will have the same liquid. Take me one of these and flatten it out. Let me zoom back from you so you can see me flatten this one out.
pleasure to show you up personally. Please, this way. Enjoy your stay, sir. Thank you. And I got my oven set for 350 degrees. And all I'm doing right now is cooking the biscuit. We'll try it for about 15 minutes and see what happens. And this is Val, this is how you do it. That is the first one, and this is the second one. That's rolled out with this, and see how they look, and see how this look. These are my finished pot pies. I got unsalted stick of butter here. And this is what I do to mine to give it a glaze. After it's finished cooking, I just go over it with the butter. Because after all, guess what? It is a biscuit. And that is some, the finished product of that pot pie. And it's in a see-through glass, so you see how it turned out. And I'm going to cut into it to see, let you see what it looks like. Just to show you what it looks like. Flaky crust. It's hot right now, so I don't want to touch it. And I'm doing it over the stove. I think that this is the one place where you really should be. See, can you see that? This is my pot pie. Move that to the side. Bring this over here so you can check it out even more. It's really hot. You can see the steam coming off it. And this is Val, but this is how you do it. I just tasted it. It is delicious. And I will see all of you people on the next video. Bye-bye now.